hoping was the night magic. <laughs> Just shake it off. Calm down. <laughs> even, even at this time of my life. Actually, I'm giving you the wrong impression of me. I'm an innocent abroad. I went to Australia in the 80s. And uh, I was a recreational drug user, I'll be honest with you. And uh, back then, and, uh, the only thing I could get hold of was uh, rowing. No. <laughs> So I thought, any part of it, alright, I said, what did they do? They put, Can you get a night's sleep on them? They said, oh yeah. <laughs> You'll get a night's sleep. So I said, well, I'll, I'll have 24 of them. <laughs> so well, there I was, there I was like some loser taking of myself. <laughs> then 30 years later, you see panorama about it, you know, actually, I said, I'm supposed to drop it in a chick's drink. <laughs> they don't come with directions, illicit drugs. They don't care what you do with them as long as you give them the money. They've got no heart, these pushers. <laughs> so they don't care what you do with them, as long as you're paying. As long as you're paying. Yeah, take them yourself then. I haven't got a girlfriend. Well, you haven't. <laughs> Give us the money, fuck off. <laughs> no heart. The days of the gentleman drug user are long gone, of course. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I can see you've got a few questions for me, but I've got a few questions for you. What is occasional furniture the rest of the time? <laughs> Why is there only one Monopolies Commission? <laughs> what does cheese say when it's having its photograph taken? <laughs> if Jesus was Jewish, why the Spanish name? <laughs> but there must be a few. Uh, there must be a few marine biologists out there this evening, I assume, uh, being as we're on the mud flats of Old Further Thames. <laughs> There's always a few. Are there any marine biologists in the house? Yeah. I knew it. I knew it would be a guy. I knew it would be a guy. Well, so. But it is the burgeoning career move of the early 21st century, marine biology, thanks to the Blue Planet. So, you know, now everybody wants to know what's going on under the waves, thanks to that series of programmes, The Blue Planet, Richard Attenborough. Actually, David Attenborough. Richard's an actor, he don't know fuck <laughs> over there. <laughs> David Attenborough, The Blue Planet. Now everybody wants to know what's going on under the waves, and marine biology is the burgeoning career move of the early 21st century. It is to the early 21st century what sociology was in the 1970s, what business studies became in the 1980s, what media studies became in the 1990s. In the early 21st century, it's marine biology because everybody wants to know what's going on under the waves. So now I've got a question for the marine biologist in the house, and that is, uh, how deep would the sea be if there weren't any sponges down there? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, before I carry on though, but the main question I'm always asked, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> malaria. <laughs> I blame the low lying Essex uh, wetlands <laughs> where now I live. <laughs> So, but the main question I'm always asked is, Johnny, how did you get here? I tell them in the usual manner. My mummy and daddy loved each other very much. Then they went to Georgia, and they got engaged. Then they got married. Then one thing led to another. Nature took its course. Here I am, same as anybody else. What do you mean, how did I get here? No, no, it wasn't an existential question. What we wanted to know was what method of transport did you employ? And I tell them, in the, in the best kind of car known to men, and that car is a higher car. <laughs> I've got somebody once suggested a ladder. The difference between a ladder and a sheep, it's marginally less embarrassing being discovered getting out the back of a sheep. <laughs> <laughs> the, difference, the difference between a ladder 
and a Jehovah's Witness, you can close the door on a Jehovah's Witness. <laughs> <laughs> These are the uh, social advantages inherent in the rented vehicle as follows, like this, hire car. Yeah. Double park, don't lock the door, push the pedals through the floor, give it loads and then some more, it's a higher car baby. Grip the stick, grind the gears, watch that distance disappear, never be yours in a thousand years. It's a higher car baby, higher car, higher car, why would anybody buy a car? Bang it, prank it, say ta and it's a higher car baby. Bad behaviour on the street, save yourself a couple of sheets, collision waiver, keep it sweet, it's a higher car, show this mountain no respect. Bump bit, dump it, call, collect, what else did the firm expect? It's a higher car. Higher Hire a car, hire a car, why hop wire a car whenever you require a car, hire a car, baby. <laughs> Drive the motherfucker anywhere just like you don't care. Pull it down the wear and tear, it's a hire car. Pray the person who hired it last did not drive it quite this fast. This dagger and dodge of doesn't last, it's a hire car. Try not to kill yourself or injure anybody else. Don't forget to fasten your belts, rent it, dent it, bang it, prang it, bump it, dump it, scorch it, torch it, crash it, burn it. Don't return it, lost deposit, let them earn it, who cares? It's on the firm, it's a hire car, baby. <laughs> Well, you know what? I neglected the formalities here, but this is very important. Before we carry on, I've got to get rid of the formalities out of the way. On account of uh, this is the official guest list here, so if you're not on this list, I'm afraid you're going to have to buy a ticket. I don't make the rules, but here they are. Here's the who's that are you in it, Duke McGuinness and his photo finishers, Chandler Burr and a bucket of mur, a murderer in human fur, a one man racial slur, no, 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 better not forget her. <laughs> Charlie Davidson and his Harley Davidson. Nevada Bob and his lazy lob, Argyle Pete and his stocking feet. JR Justice and the G and the J JR Justice and the VIPs, anybody who speaks Maltese, Jerry Hall, she's very tall, and all of her Uncle Tom cobblers and all, from the Alpha Tall at all at all, Get Carter, Frank Sinatra, Jeffrey Archer and his sudden departure. Uh, Clint Belton and Clarice Hilton. From east of Sweden, Peter Shilton, Jack Shit and the Zeros. Borderline unpleasant heroes, Jimmy Zilch and the Scandaleros, Billy Dos Sombreros, Zorba and his Hellenic Shapiros, Sad Clown and his Tragic Pieros, Prince Baron and Emperor Ming. Big Ted, the Kidney King, El Vengador, Ilos Vengadores, Little Ronaldo, his sister Dolores, her coca cakes are very Moorish. <laughs> Admit anybody who knows my brother, but anybody who says she's the mother of any child I might have sired, who ain't my wife and yet she's wired. If you let her in, you're fired. I'm going to mug you up as I make this mark authenticated by J.C. Clark. <laughs> You know I don't do adverts on a matter of principle.